people that don't know me and then they ask me what you're doing. No, I'm a plumber. Plumber? Really? Why? And then I ask, why not? It's not just male that can do it, it's female. And we're here to change the world. Today we're at Holy Cross doing maintenance, plumbing maintenance. I'm actually currently working on a basin and we're removing the basin and we're going to replace it with a new one. Connect the cold and hot water to the main supply and connect the waste pipe. I like to work on myself, by myself, fix things on my own. I don't need a male to do anything for me. I want to do it myself. That was my biggest motivation to just do something, get up and do it and not need, okay, you need a man in your life, but if you can fix it on your own, that's fine. There's always the 50-50 that works better. It's perceived that if you've got a corporate job that you are successful. If you uh, apply the correct business acumen, then, then you could be extremely successful. You do not have to do corporate. There is a tremendous need for tradespeople of all, all different trades to actually uh, step up and there's, there's a huge void to be filled. Most of the apprentices that have been recruited has, has gone through a selection process where we have an employer. It's essential for them, they need to be employed in order to be part uh, of the training program. Um, the program that they're doing is the Occupational Certificate Plumber, which is being offered at the College of Cape Town as a centre of specialisation. So far we have three females in the, in the crew and they are amazing. They are super amazing. Shamla did a hairdressing course. You know, she, she did the hairdressing apprenticeship and she left it because she felt it wasn't for her. And she said, you know what, when she picked up a wrench for the first time and a, and a hammer and chisel, that was for her. There's no discrimination, nothing of you are female, you can't do it. And every day when I get to work, I take on new challenges. And if someone tells me I can't do it, then I laugh and say, well, that's not your decision to make. Give me the tool, I'll show you I can do it. The transfer of skills is the critical part and which is important to us and that is first and foremost where we benefit by knowing that you know what come five ten years down the line you know as actually the older people start aging and you know no longer work we have qualified quality people actually back in the industry first over there we cut in a T there and we put two stop valves there so that in future if they need to work here then they can just switch off over there and then well, they can isolate this area. Mm. In plumbing you don't know what you're going to do. You learn every day. You think you can't do it but at the end of the day you can proudly tap yourself on the shoulder and say I've did it. I've accomplished something new.